the bougiest side. parks ever in Florida. Mason just drove into a tree and the entire it. tree branch smacked me right into both my eyeballs and they're literally on fire. Oops. What's up, yeah, party fam? So we are currently at the park right now. Aria's been conquering some fears lately. Yeah, she used to be afraid of literally everything, you guys. This but now she's fully climbing up ladders now. You got it. You got it. Come on, you can do it. You've done it a few times before. <gasps> Whee! Wow. <laughs> you went on your tummy? My birthday cake. Sing happy birthday. There's your candle. Happy birthday to kitchen. <laughs> so while Mason and Aria are still playing at the park over here, I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys and give you guys an update on Isla. Basically, whenever I put Isla down, she just cries and screams for me. She's in this phase right now where she's almost even more clingy than she already was. But a lot of people were saying, that around like I think eight to nine months they actually develop an even more deep attachment everyone online was telling me like oh it's your fault like as the mom because you give in to it I haven't really done anything differently with Isla than I did the other two and Aria and Kinsley were never ever ever this clingy and this hard and I know it's not Isla's fault and I'm not trying to complain but every single baby is so so different and I just want to let you other moms out there know that you are not alone. Like having a clingy baby is extremely hard. Just using the restroom, cooking, taking care of the other kids. She just wants to be held and cuddled all day. I try and pass her off to Mason and sometimes it works. But she just honestly really wants me the majority of the day. Every single child is different. And Isla won't take a bottle. Kinsley would take a bottle. Aria only took bottles. She's always been a lot more independent. I really think it's because she only breastfed for two months. But Isla just has this like incredible bond with me. And I know I'm gonna miss it. And Isla could potentially be our last child. I know that this is only temporary. This phase that she's in, it's so like funny how Isla's pregnancy was my hardest and how she's been the hardest, clingiest baby. I give you guys an update on the baby. As far as me, I do have my struggles with not having- Alone time? Yeah. Mason tries to help me as much as he can. Isla, for the most part, wants me Yeah. at the end of the day. Like, Mason can, tries to help- I can cook. Yeah, Mason does his best. The most alone time I've ever gotten is when I go to the nail salon for one hour and get my nails done. Maybe one day Isla will let somebody else help. Dude, this is the coolest park I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this, you guys. Like, there's dog parks here. We are there's totally two different speaking. parks. The bougiest sign. parks ever in Florida. Mason just drove into a tree How and the entire rabbit? tree branch smacked me right into both my eyeballs and they're literally on fire. In both my eyeballs, I felt like a tree branch <laughs> or leaves. It hurt so bad and I'm trying not to cry. Oh my God, that was painful. Oops. Let's see if I'll get smacked by another tree okay. branch. I literally drove around like all of them. One, no, one my. snagged and swung back. At least I'm protecting Aria from the tree branch. <laughs> Kaylee versus tree branch. Okay, look, it's the tree branch that smacked me. Speak the tree branch. Get out of here. <laughs> We're gonna run over you. Do you think branch. that's the tree branch that smacked you? <laughs> You're gonna make it look a whole lot worse yeah. than it was. <laughs> that was like the tree branch. That's like a whole that tree. That smacked me. Isla is officially asleep from the golf cart ride. She falls asleep every time. That's how this is working. Yeah, this has been the best like purchase or investment ever. I actually get like my sanity back. Whenever we go in the golf cart, I get a little break. She just absolutely loves it. And there's so much wildlife here. I just absolutely love it. Like so many birds, so many different kinds of birds. So there is a turtle that like came out of one of these ponds and he was like in the middle of the road. So I had to like stop the car, got out, went, ran and grabbed him, picked him up, and he's like the fastest turtle I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, I didn't know turtles could be fast. And he cut my finger open with his little fin, but I picked him up eventually and I got him like back into his little pond. He ran in. And yeah, he was the fastest turtle I've ever seen. Yeah, apparently they're called ninja turtles, so I saved Raphael. <laughs> mm -hmm. True story. 
going outdoors just immediately like makes me happier i just love being outside now whenever i just need a little break we get on the golf cart and go on a ride and i immediately just get happier so it's nice that i found like an outlet for when i get like overstimulated or frustrated or when I'm just like really tired. I'm just very, very happy that I found something that works for us. If you have a baby who's extremely clingy, maybe just go and get a golf cart. Are you awake now? You awake? You wanna go on the swing? You took a little nap? child. He's my first child. So we just got back from our little morning adventure. There's a few more topics I wanted to touch on regarding Isla. A lot of people were asking me as well, like, why don't I give Isla toys and try and teach her to entertain herself? Isla sometimes entertains herself, but it only lasts for maybe five minutes at a time. Maybe 10 if we're extremely lucky. Huh? Yes. Every single baby is so different and Isla is our clingiest, but I'm almost happy that she's our clingiest because she could be our last baby. Like we could be done at three. We might have four one day if we want to do like a bigger age gap. Huh? Yes, yes. So I'm happy that I kind of get to like soak in everything more. I'm never going to regret like holding her all the time. Like I'm never going to look back and be like, wow, I held Isla way too much. Where I'm really struggling is just like knowing that my other two kids don't get my like full attention anymore. It's so hard for me to even like make them breakfast and cook them lunch. Like thankfully Mason's home with me and he's able to help. I just am jealous at the end of the day that Mason gets like more time with the older two kids. I just wanted to explain everything to you guys in detail and just let everyone out there know that has a clingy baby, like you're not alone. This is a season that will pass, but when you're in the moment, like it can feel very stressful and hard. Things always get better, huh? And one day you're not gonna want mommy to hold you or cuddle you anymore. It's so sad. Okay, let's, let's go. go pick up your big sissy from school. Let's go get Kinsley and then let's go get some lunch. Yummy. Okay. 